Hi guys, it's Sebastian here again. Um, today I wanted to show you guys um, a breadboard power supply that I bought off, um, I think it was Banggood, and uh, it's really good, um, useful piece of equipment, especially for prototyping. Um, and I just want to show you guys and take you through the features and and just give you an idea of, of what, what it's all about. So this breadboard power supply, um, it's selectable 3 volt or 5 volt. Um, it has both regulators on board so you can actually switch it out with a jumper depending on how many voltage voltages you need. Um, it's got a, a DC jack the 2.1 millimeter DC jack that's pretty much standard um, it's got the switch on and off a latching switch it's got the LED power indicator and it's got additional breakouts there if you need to power um, 3 volts or 5 volts somewhere else so let me show you how this works so I've got my breadboard here with the little um, Arduino Pro Mini installed um, and this breadboard power supply is so easy to use I'm just going to show you it just fits right in there those pins go in there and the, these pins go in there and it just fits straight in perfectly so they already got that right with the design um, um yeah let me show you let me switch it on and show you how how it works and and what how many volt what voltage it actually outputs all right let's plug in my dc power supply i've got a 9 volt dc um power supply connected to the to the wall i'm just going to plug it in here and then I'm going to plug, I'm going to connect my jumper cables to the Arduino. Um, I'm going to go DC5. So I'm going to connect this to the negative power supply on the ground. And I'm going to connect this to the positive connector. And that'll be VCC. And then all I need to do is switch it on. Um, I actually did not switch on my DC power supply. So let me just quickly do that. Um, okay. Now it's switched on. So I'm going to switch it on and bang. Now it's on. Um, <laughs> the reason why it's not actually powering on because um, this board came with two jumpers I actually just disconnected I took away the one jumper and the jumper there's a, a jumper connector on that side that lets you select either 5 volts or 3 volts and on the other rail it also has the same jumpers um, jumpers that let you select 3 volts or 5 volts so because it's connected to this side I'm gonna plug in the jumper um, to the 5 volt and there you go, there you can see the power is on on the Arduino, so it's running. Um, now, let's have a look at how many volts it actually outputs and how good the, the quality of the board is. Um, I mean, needless to say, you can see it's pretty simple. It's got um, some capacitors there and some power regulators. It's the 3, three volt and the 5 volt power regulator. Um, and a capacitor here for obviously smoothing the input a little bit um, but otherwise it's really basic and if your your power supply is of good quality then you won't have any problems with with a uh, stable power supply so let's have a look at the how much voltage we get from this little board so it claims 5 volts and let's see what it does and there it's put 4. Sorry, 4.96. So it's 
so that's pretty good that's actually within range within spec and that should work just fine um, and then if we want to have a look at the 3 volt power supply just disconnect my Arduino put these jumper cables away and I'm going to switch it to 3 volts and I'm going to have a look at how much we get out here and we get 3.31 that's perfect that is actually very good let's have a look there again 3.31 very stable very solid perfect so if you have the Pro Mini 5 volt or Pro Mini 3.3 volts then this breadboard power supply is excellent to to power your um, experiments so yeah I highly recommend it um, I bought 10 of these so it's really and and at the price it's it, it was a steal it was something like um, 30 36 um, US cents each I was like okay I'm gonna get 10 of these because um, I'm a bit overboard like that but yeah so I'm gonna switch this off the only other weird thing about this board there's only one weird thing is that it's got a female power jack here it's, sorry it's not a female yes it is a female it's a female USB port and that's really strange because you you'd be able to think okay maybe you'd want to power this with the USB cable but then you'd need a male to male USB cable if you had like um, a cell phone charger or a 5 volt USB power source that you'd want to power this with um, it's just strange to have a female connector on here you, you'd expect that to, um, to be like the micro the micro USB uh, USB um, jack on this board but instead they they had version A of the USB which hardly anyone has such cables um, you'd have to order them separately so it's it's really strange but the DC jack works just fine and uh, yeah it, it, it fits really well in the power supply I mean on the breadboard it's it's pretty stable it's got um, four pins per rail so it sits on the board really nicely um, yeah so it's actually a really good product and I would recommend it so thumbs up for this one good job guys you can check out the the product in the link um, in the description um, support these guys they make good stuff yeah thanks for watching cheers guys